Hey guys, uh, so today I wanted to talk about something uh, that's not really a uh, RuneScape game related. It's more like things that uh, I use when on a, on a daily basis, uh, things such as pr uh, different programs and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, uh, what programs I use when I play RuneScape. So here we go. So the first thing that I use is of course uh, the RuneScape, um, the, be uh, the client, the RuneScape client. Uh, it can be downloaded from RuneScape.com, so uh, just do that if you if you want it. It's pretty good. It's uh, it does it does everything that it, that you wanted to do uh, without having to be on your browser. So it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I mean it's it's your choice if you want it or not. So basically, the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, this thing uh, where I can check if my internet is good or not. And basically what you do is you press the uh, Windows Windows button uh, combined with R and basically this will bring up uh, the run the run system thing whatever type in CMD a uh, ping minus uh, space minus T W W dot whatever website you want I use Google and then you'll be able to see what your ping is uh, now um, sometimes uh, if you have a bad internet connection uh, there will be like a breaks in between where it says request uh, timeout or something. Uh, this basically means that you have an internet problem in your house. So so yeah. Uh, currently I have really bad ping. I don't know why. Sometimes I have really good ping, uh, which is around 25, 30. Uh, but now it's currently very bad. But the good thing about RuneScape is that it really doesn't matter what your ping is. Uh, so so yeah, I could I could have like 400 ping. And it will be a uh, RuneScape will be fine, you know, because it's like a, cause it, it's a real-time strategy game kind of, I, in a way it is a real-time strategy game, in that you have a game tick and like every couple of seconds, like like for example if I try to move, it takes like a second for it to move. Now, unless the uh, ping is a thousand milliseconds, uh, it really, I never get that because uh, it just never happens. So. RuneScape is fine, whatever your ping is, so it doesn't really matter. The only time it really matters is when you're playing like uh, Call of Duty or something like that. See, for example, right, right there, just request timeout. That means I have like a problem with my internet, uh, so I need to get that fixed. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is transparency. So this is really good if you want to watch something like a movie, or you have maybe maybe you're doing a quest and you need to be able to see uh, the quest guide uh, while you're still playing RuneScape instead of having to like put it to half a screen or something like that and put the guide here uh, and have a really annoying like really small screen. So you might want to have like something behind it. So basically, what this does is simply there we go so you can basically have a guide behind while you're playing so like th these could be instructions while you're doing a guide also it can be used to do uh, for movies so I got well I'm not gonna do it right now but you get the general idea you can see everything behind while you're playing so that's really good so yeah uh, you can also set the transparency to whatever you want and uh, what this program's called is called transparent windows so just do a Google search and I'm sure you'll find it. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Uh, let's talk about some of these things. Okay, so call timer. So basically what this is, is it's just a little timer. You have a choice of countdown, alarm clock, <coughs> or stopwatch. And I, <coughs> sorry. Uh, and basically I use this for player imports. So currently I have two, in, two hours and five minutes until my player import is done. Uh, my, my ship anyway. Uh, so it will give me a, like a like a small alarm. I can choose whatever I want it to be. So I can choose it to be like a really like a song or something, whatever you, whatever you want uh, the alarm to be. So this is really good for player imports, uh, just in case you uh, don't remember what how long is left uh, to wait. And also the really good thing about this is that um, as you can see uh, down here, there's like a, a green bar. This is to tell you how long is left. Uh, and it's a really good indicator uh, instead of you having to click it every time to look at what the time is so this green bar would just go up to to the uh, the maximum which like it's 20% uh, right now and it will go up to 100% when it's when it's nearly done 
So, so yeah, it's a really good thing to use. Uh, it's called Cool Timer. I'm sure you can find it if you Google it. But yeah, so that's the next thing. Then I use uh, Tunnel Bear. This is really good for uh, if if you don't live in the U.S. Uh, it's really good to get access to um, U.S. movies, things like that, especially on Netflix, because on Netflix, basically, um, we have Netflix.co.uk, and now the disadvantage with that is that you only get a choice of like a thousand movies or something like that, and like a couple of TV shows, maybe like a hundred. Which is really good, but at the same time, compared to the U.S. one, uh, they have a choice of uh, like forty thousand or forty thousand or something movies and like a thousand TV shows or whatever, and it's like so much better. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, so I use Tunnel Bear for that, and basically what it does is uh, it pretends that I'm in the U.S. So it's like. It, my computer basically connects to a, a server in America uh, as you can see you can change it between US and UK and it basically um, y your computer connects to the US server which is then used in America which makes it look like you're in America and uh, yeah so I just turn it on and it does this Take takes like a minute to connect or something and once you're connected it basically your computer is basically in America, and it basically you, you can basically watch anything you want uh, from American TV. And now, because American TV, uh, or just Netflix in general, uh, in America, the it's updated much more frequently, and you get much newer content. Uh, for example, you can go on HBO and get uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, the new episodes, you could probably get them. Uh, like I mean, you could download them for free, like legally. But I prefer just to watch them. Like I watch, I prefer to stream them on like legitimate websites because, I mean, it's better quality and it doesn't. It's a lot less hassle-free. It's a lot more hassle-free. I mean, so so yeah, that's this is basically what it does. It just pretends you're in America. So that's really good. So that's good if you want to watch movies while you play RuneScape. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, Camtasia. So this is really good. Um, it's very good because uh, okay, I'll show you. So basically, it's very simple to use. It's also it doesn't require very much from your computer, so you can use it on uh, pretty much any computer as long as it's semi reasonable. Semi reasonable. Sometimes it does slow my computer down if I use some large files, such as like two hour two hour files or something like that. But generally, when I use like 10-minute files, it's it's completely fine. It doesn't it doesn't stop slow down my computer at all. Also, um, you can pretty much edit anything. So even if you're not recording something, um, you can pretty much edit anything. I've uh, I've recorded uh, a television show for my father, and uh, basically I edited edit it in uh, Camtasia, and uh, yeah, so I just I did that. Uh, on uh, Camtasia, so you can pretty much do it with music. You can even split uh, video and audio. So, say for example, you wanted to download something from YouTube, uh, you could uh, put it into Camtasia um, and just edit edit it uh, so it only gives you audio instead of the video and the audio. So, like you can do a whole load of different things with this. It's really good. Uh, you can even do like voice narration over videos. You can do like visual effects. It's really good, just in general. I used to use Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is pretty crap compared to this, in my opinion. Except, I mean, you can if you can add like a lot of effects in Sony Vegas, but to be honest, I prefer this a hundred times more uh, than Sony Vegas. Also, it's pretty much a it's pretty much a, an all-in-one program. Sorry about that. I do, like every time I do go to the top left corner it pops up so I can do that but I can change that if I want so I, I prefer to keep it though because it's really useful I can just go like that and it just comes up so yeah anyway so yeah so basically Camtasia is just an all-in-one it's like a uh, what's that thing called that thing that records it's like fa flax or something fraps that's the one <laughs> fraps yeah it's basically fraps and uh, Sony Vegas all in one and it's much easier to use and it's much uh, more efficient with your system resources so yeah so that's why I use that 
So anyway, uh, let's go on to the next one. Just keep moving so I don't log out. Uh, then I use paint on that, uh, just to simply make my thumbnails. I should really use Adobe uh, Photoshop. Uh, I've heard it's a lot better, but I mean, paint paint on that is just it's a uh, it's a free source of you know like you get you get uh, wait let's see MS Paint. It's it's basically the upgraded version of normal paint, so you can get this paint in <coughs> in normal Microsoft. Everyone can get this, and uh, it's it's pretty basic, uh, but Paint on that is just an advanced version of that. So yeah, I'll just show you quickly, I guess. So yeah, if you're if you're making videos and you want to uh, make thumbnails, uh, this is good enough. It's not not the best, but at the same time, it has uh, a lot of functionality. Like change your canvas size. This will ma allow you to make uh, your thumbnails. So. I think the dimensions are 260 by 180 to make thumbnails. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Something like that. Anyway, uh, what's next? Okay, push. So basically what push is, is when I uh, press control, what I'm doing right now is control shift 2. So when I press control shift 2, it will basically come up down here, you see? And it's basically uploading a picture to a website. Uh, which will allow me to make a quick link uh, to anything I want on the forums for example so like as you can see that just took a picture of my screen just then so now what I can do is press control uh, control and then like for example go into a website and just copy and paste it into that uh, unfortunately you have to be in high level forums to be able to post uh, links so might not be that much of an advantage to you, but yeah. Oh yeah, just quickly show you. Uh, this was, I added this uh, two days ago. As you can see, all these other people have put 11th of January. This is the 9th of January. So I'm, this is actually from two days ago. Uh, I'm actually number, I'm actually number two. So, it's pretty cool. I'll just show you quickly. Wait, no, I go into this one, sorry. And you see 32%. So this is second place in player imports in 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 the entire Max forum. So it's pretty pretty awesome. So I'm number two. I'm uh, just behind Wooks. I don't know how he managed to get 62% already, but what else? What else? Doesn't really matter. But anyway. Uh, so, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's all I have to show you today. Uh, if you have any questions about these programs, then just put a comment down below. Also, I, I'm very curious about what kind of programs you guys use uh, that that make it more fun and enjoyable and much easier to play the game, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, so just leave a comment down below. Very interested. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.